That's the one. New York. Okay, the Bowery. What drove a man all the way from Puerto Rico to New York slum promise? A home, enough bread and meat to fill the gnawing inside, only didn't fill a soul's belly. Very vicarious lusts of a public who wanted blood and what it cost him. A film about this Puerto Rican poet who bled on paper. I do bad things so I can write about them, he said. It's with me as I left the cinema, walked down blocks and metal lockup graffiti ravings, bouncing off foreclosed immigrant dreams. Men like my father, who opened one store after another to salvage minimum wage lives behind a cash register, lose what they never imagined having. It's not a place for a woman alone, with streets mattressed homeless bodies forever in imagination, and a knife in my back might be only as far away as someone's hunger who'd kill for a greasy meal, easily as a farmer slaughters a pig, a chicken, to survive. But gentrification danger is new safety, where tenement rents skyscrape belief in trendy poverty. I walk past where the sidewalk abruptly curved through a gate, once a vacant lot over farmland owned by New Amsterdam's governor, meanders a grove of birch trees, herbs, berries, place of the original Bowery, grabbed out of stinking garbage centuries later by green guerrilla fighters for a dollar a month. Wild flower dreams of those who risk their forgotten lives to leave something. Hundreds of perennials of varieties flowering right here now sprung out of this very soil. Uh, la when I um, was in San Francisco, and so I think it was um, 95, around there, I spent a day with Jack Michelin, uh, you know who he is, the beat poet? Yeah. yeah, a fantastic guy, and it was an incredible day. Um, and so this is Men Call Jack, it's for Jack Michelin, poet on the front lines. He said the eye is connected to the heart. Across San Francisco, America, single room occupancy lives Refusing to learn, the Lord is my shepherd. Unable, escapees from the Bronx without teeth, failing eyesight, earth-crusted nails, soap can't remove, proud of it, dangerous men breathing poems. Isn't just words, he said, eyes talk. Way you move your hand, turn your head, gives a poet away. Men call Jack, nurturing more than flesh and bone, flesh and bone of what matters. Child eyes pushing 70 years, scrawled on brown bags, forgotten yellowing pages, stuffed boxes, scaling, peeling walls to some heaven. Outlaws, madmen, fighting what straitjackets, imagination, refusing to be herded to green pastures, return its soul to America and damned for it. Men called Jack, colorists, painting red and purple and green murals on dullness, scaring the shit out of Lord is my shepherd, America. The other Jack was Jack Hirschman, who I also met that um, period. I'm going to read one more from here. Great. Okay, I'm going to read minute. one from a recent chapbook. It's called Ding Dong the Bell, Pussy in the Well. And what I did here is use um, nursery rhymes as a, a takeoff, a starting um, point for whatever I want to say. Um, Moving closer to the microphone. Okay. Okay, this one, um, Catch Me If You Can. This is a cat and bird story full of trees and walls of climbing up one and jumping over the other. And from the rhyme, up went pussy cat, down went he, down came pussy, and away Robin ran. I watched his eyes scamper up after me while we sat in a cafe drinking coffee, then making love through the park, ignoring the temptation trees posed till next morning's clawing disagreement set human and animal off in a shift-shaping chase. Says little Robin Redbreast, catch me if you can. 
This is about a bird flying in and out of a cat's sight, trying to elude him while praying, catch me. This is about the life two people led. I listened for his sound, for what would send my heart flying up to the highest branch. And when I'd gotten comfortable, thought he was gone, I was safe, he'd spring out and I'd jump. Sometimes I felt like the cat chasing myself, and he was the bird. Sometimes the other way around, and so it went, and then it didn't. <laughs>